Welcome to Sport Everyone. Ricky Grace has quit the Perth Wildcats. The Cats champion telling the club he's had enough and he'll retire at the end of the current season. Lockie Reed is at Cats headquarters. Now, Lockie, you floated this story earlier in the week about Ricky's future, but this has happened a little quicker than we would have thought. Yes, Tim, I was probably expecting Ricky Grace to announce his retirement after the season ended, but uh, just a few moments ago we met with owner Andrew Vlahoff and coach Scotty Fisher and told them the sad news that he's hanging up his boots at the end of this season. Now, I've been hanging around like a bad smell and uh, I've convinced Ricky to have a bit of a chat to us on 10 News. Ricky, retirement, it's a big decision. What are your emotions right now? Oh, it's a celebration of uh, a job well done. Um, I've always said that I'll continue to play the game as long as I consider myself one of the top five players in the league. And, uh, you know, because of injuries and circumstances, um, I just feel like it's time for me to uh, hand that banner on to someone else. Eight minutes last night and no court time after half time. Did that have any impact on your decision? Second question has to be a negative. But, you know, uh, <laughs> this is all positive and uh, I, I wouldn't retire based on one game. Uh, no, this is something that I've gone backwards and forwards. Uh, on throughout the season, but um, um, as I say, it's 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 time for me to move on, and um, I'm just looking forward to the to the next couple of games. And I didn't want to do it at the end of the season because I wanted to have a chance to say goodbye to the to the fans and, and to thank everyone from Western Australia for making it such a great time for me. The fans will get that opportunity tomorrow night, Friday night, as they take on the Breakers, and also Sunday. Let's have a look at your magnificent career. Uh, 16 seasons with the Wildcats, four championships. You also had a little short stint in the NBA. What are your memories of that? Uh, it's been a great ride, you know. Uh, winning that championship in 1990 in the first year, you know, playing with guys like Crawford and and, uh, you know, uh, Trevor Torrance, uh, Eric Watterson, Steve Davis, all those guys were, uh, couldn't get over the hump. And to be the last piece of the puzzle to be able to, to win that championship in 90 was uh, something that I'll never forget. And, you know, as you mentioned, mentioned the championships in 91, uh, 95 and 2000 were all great, representing Australia, 2000. Um, I can't complain. The coach is also here, Scotty Fisher, come in. Apologies to you, Vlahoff and James Crawford, but is this the best Wildcat ever? Yeah, I reckon so. Uh, you know, 16 years, four championships, you know, Olympics, NBA, uh, first team all league, all-star games, records, everything else. I mean, he's been an absolute ornament to the game and, and especially, uh, you know, as a Wildcat for his entire career. It's, uh, it's just been an honor to, to play alongside him, to, to, to coach him, and, and uh, certainly um, I know I'll be working with him in the future. Uh, he's, he's got a lot to offer basketball. Tim, it is very emotional night. Uh, I think there might be a few tears straight after this. But it is back to you. A fifth championship for Ricky Grace is not out of the question. Good on you, Lockie, and thanks to Scott Fisher, and well played, Ricky Grace. So huge news there with the retirement of Ricky, and that breaking story has certainly overshadowed the Cats' sensational win last night. Shot clock, the inferior pass is batted away. Ontario, in fact, Ellis keeping it alive for Perth. Crawford fires it off the window, adds it. Two seconds to play, Perth are back in front. Peter Crawford may have hit the winning basket, but Rizel Ellis was the hero. His desperate dive to get Crawford the ball simply outstanding. Oh, I hate losing. That's not part of my game, but it happens during the game sometimes, but I prefer to win everything I try to do. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's more Roselle's win than mine. The Cats one point win their most significant this season. It now means if they can beat New Zealand twice this weekend, they'll host the final. Gets Crawford going hard to the rim. Ellis a star last night, dominating with 30 points and 10 rebounds. That was like a, the beginning of a playoff game, so it was pretty intense out there. And everybody stepped up and banged bodies and did everything. We're pretty sore today, but uh, we'll take it. The Cats showing they won't be pushed around with the playoffs beginning next week. The team clicking at the right time of the season. And Ontario left finishes it. Ellis so good the Cats could do with two of him, and that could be on the cards. The Warrior revealing his younger brother is keen to head to Perth. He'll fit well in the NBA. He's a great player. He's about 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 a great shooter. Uh, just like me, just a little version of me. So, But he shoots better than me. Is he a mini Warrior? Oh, yeah, he's definitely a Warrior. He's tough. I keep him by my side, and I got his back. He got mine. Steve Nolkovsky, 10 News. Great stuff, boys. Australia.